What's up? What's up? Like, what do you mean? I've, I've been calling you and texting you. Are you okay? Um, yeah, it's been a pretty busy week, you know, work or something that they have my phone. So you can't text someone back? You can't call me? You can't, I mean... worried about you. I thought maybe something happened to you or, you know, it's not like you do not communicate. We've been pretty consistent. So I just wanted to make sure that you were good. Welcome to Storytime with a Grown Woman. Swag. Y'all, when I saw the title to this, I knew it was not going to be good. And this is just a snippet of what I've been saying. Women who have been in long-term relationships, marriages, whatever. When you get out of those relationships and marriages, things are not the same. Things are not the same. That fairy tale that you're seeking does not exist. That is for TV. It is not real. Okay? Every man has a motive for what he does. Every man. I don't care if it's your husband. Every man has a motive for what he does. Your boyfriend, your husband. It doesn't matter. They have a motive. They're, if, if it was easy to get what they wanted from you without doing anything, this would be the perfect world. But they know they have to do something. Right? But, again, when you've been in long-term, committed marriages, relationships, the world is not the same when you go out there. Now, a lot of women don't understand. If you don't hear from a man, it's kind of best to just not, just, just wait until he responds. Now, some may say, well, what if he's hurt? And you're right. So it's kind of like a 50-50 gamble. For me, I don't do the pop-ups. I do not do the pop-ups. Because at the end of the day, an individual knows how to respond. And if they don't, it's apparent that they don't want to be, they don't want to deal with you at that moment. I don't do the pop-ups, but whatever Ernestine gets, hey, she brought it on herself. So let's carry on. At the door. How you doing? Hi. Hi. Why are you here? Um, I'm just checking on James. Apparently, checking on him. You for are what? Oh my God! Now what you gonna do, Ernestine? This is why I don't do freaking pop-ups right here. This is why I don't do freaking pop-ups because I think I just live in a. I, some may say a delusional world or I don't know but I don't want to know I don't want to know what you're doing I don't want to try to catch you I don't I don't want to try to catch a guy in anything you know if it's meant for me to find out I'm gonna find out but I'm not gonna go to your house doing a pop-up trying to see what I can find I'm not gonna follow you I'm not gonna go to your phone I, I just I don't care to just seek things i feel like if it's for me to find out i'm gonna find out but look at ernestine she is in disbelief because she think or she thought that knight in shining armor was james i think that's his name she thought that was james but that that she seeks does not exist he had a motive and the motive was to get in her head Get her in his hands like putty and get off of parole. Again, what did I say? Men always have a motive for what they're doing. Even your husband, even your boyfriend, they have a motive for what they're doing. They either want the ass or they want something. That's just it. Tell her who I am, Jamal. So who is she? Who is she, James? Yeah. And again, Ernestine should have known this man had a woman. It's like 
when it, when a man look a certain way and carry himself a certain way, you can tell he has a woman. Whether it's something serious, whether it's just a play thing, fling, whatever. You know when a man has somebody in their life. I don't know a man who just don't have a woman at all in their life. Now, they may not have a girlfriend, but they got somebody going to suck them off. They got somebody just going to come through. They got somebody for something, even if it's not something intentional. They have somebody. And looking at James, you know he is the type of man that's going to have women. Uh, you know, these skits always try to make men just, you know, be a one woman man, which that's not the case. That's not true. But these skits, you know, gear toward that. But at the end of the day, Ernestine should have known better. She should have known better. Mommy, he played you. <laughs> he played you. This you is should true. feel real this stupid. You should feel real stupid. Okay. Okay. Wow. Your lady. What are we still talking about? Yeah. Okay, what else is there to say? You got play. <laughs> I just said, baby, you ain't got to do all that now. I know we rehearsed what you was going to say to get this hoe off my back. But you ain't got to do all that. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry, y'all. Oh, James said, you ain't got to do all that. <laughs> this is so freaking hilarious. So freaking hilarious. Oh, I done, you done told Jay I want to divorce. You ain't no better than them folks in the streets. Oh, Lord. Ooh, this is hilarious. Speak. What do, you, what do you have to say to yourself? Speak. Say something. Nothing. So this, he said it already. He got what he wanted. And it's over with. It's over with. You got what you wanted. What did, what, what did you want, James? What did you want, James? Why is she asking that damn question? She know what he wanted. He wanted to get off probation. <sighs> she don't know, baby. Maybe Ernestine don't know. How does she not know what he wanted? Because he didn't get the drawers. He didn't get them. He didn't want it. He wanted to be off probation, and he did whatever he had to do. Even if, if he did pay, what, a good $30,000, $40,000 to get off probation, he didn't care. You know, he gave her that Cinderella night that she wanted with the expensive dress, hair, and all of that. Yeah, he gave her that. He gave her, oh, probably about $50,000. I don't know. He might have stole the, the necklace, but whatever. He did whatever he had to do to get off probation. And she asked him, what did you want? <sighs> really understand? You got him off that back. What's that? Over with. Over with. Wow. It was all a scam. All you a scam. Me. All a game. You used me to get you off paper? <laughs> we won. I trusted him. Go, go back to where you came from, babe. Over there, hop in your little Tesla. See ya. I trusted you, James. Yeah. He used you and you look like big ass boo boo the freaking fool. Cause that uh, those unrealistic expectations that she had for a man are there. But she's too blind to see that the world is not that. That is not the world. And I don't care how many people disagree, that is not it. This is why women, so many women are single because they are living in those unrealistic expectations. This woman has put Jay down and a lot of you feel like Jay is weak because he goes to the bottle to deal with his problem. But now she sees that trash is a treasure that trash genuinely loves her that trash that she's looking at jay ass may have effed up but he wants to be there for her he wants to be there for his child he wants to be there 
for his family. Mm -hmm. We don't have nothing else to talk about. Used me. You took me shopping. You planned an amazing date night you thought for that us. Money you was something? It was nothing. It was nothing. It was nothing. Hey, it's okay. Okay. It's, it's okay. It's okay. Jokes on me. Jokes on me, Jane. I'm not I'm, sorry. I'm, I'm know what you was I'm doing. good. I'm good. See you. <laughs> Bye. Come on. Yeah. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Ooh, I know they are having understanding these comments. They are having heard these comments. Ooh, Conte. I knew when I saw this title, she, this, she walking, she turned away with her tail tucked between her damn legs. Ooh, I'm so glad this happened to her. I am so glad this happened to her. Ooh, uh, she had to walk of shame. She walked her tail right between her damn legs. She just had to turn off, turn away, and walk away. Because, honey, that girlfriend, that girlfriend wasn't playing. Ooh, and see, man, even though the girlfriend was getting on my darn nerve, complaining and stuff, but she a G. It's like you do what you got to do, Ninja, to get out them papers. I told y'all, it's been times I told the dude, hey, you if you don't do it right, we gonna have a problem. <laughs> Ooh, that girlfriend said, you got played. <laughs> Why you still here? Jay trusted you too. Mm-hmm. Playing stupid games, you win stupid prizes. The grass ain't always greener on the other side. How many times have we heard that? How many times have we experienced that? I know I have. Grass ain't always greener on the other side, honey. That's why I can tell y'all this stuff. I mean, right now, the entire comment section is all for what Ernestine just got. They all feel like she deserved what she got. They all laughing and mocking her for falling for this. And again, it goes back to what I've been saying. The world ain't what it used to be. And when you've been with somebody for a long time, don't expect to get out of that and go find somebody who's going to give you what that person once gave you because that ain't happening no more. I mean, it's been time. I've been in a relationship for a couple of years and crap had changed. So imagine when you were in a relationship for decades and you got women 60 and 70 years old trying to leave their freaking husband? Really? Wow. I know the majority of people are happy. Let me know what you think about this. I'm going to meet y'all in the comments. And if you haven't, please make sure you like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit that notification, guys, so you know when I upload a video. And as always, I'm going to see y'all in the next one. Bye, y'all.